Hello everyone, welcome to my podcast. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about minimum wage. More specifically, the federal minimum wage in the United States. Now, at the time I'm recording this, federal minimum wage is $7.25. That is, every state has to have their own minimum wage at least higher than that. Several states, like Massachusetts, is way above that. Obviously, Obviously. it makes more sense to have a higher minimum wage in a state that things cost more. Same goes with New York, you know, California, those kinds of states. Um, What doesn't make sense, though, is I feel like making $7 an hour just isn't a lot of money, even in, like, Wyoming. I feel like that's just not not okay it's obviously a good idea to raise the minimum wage i just don't know if it's the best idea to do it so dramatically like going from seven dollars to fifteen dollars in a matter of a year if that i feel like what needs to happen is what massachusetts is doing where you know it went up by about 25 to 50 cents every year until I think it's still going up because we haven't reached $15 yet but I think by like 2023 um, Massachusetts is supposed to be at $15 minimum wage which is obviously amazing so while I do think they should raise it way higher than $7 I think there is a case to make for why they shouldn't to notoriously quote Jay-Z more money, more problems, and that applies to this situation. Obviously, if there's more money existing, things are going to start costing more. These businesses have to find those extra few dollars to pay each of their employees, and while big businesses are the ones who are probably even more mad that minimum wage is going up, They're the ones who would be fine because, first of all, their CEOs and owners and whatnot are already probably billionaires, so they don't need any more money. They will have no problem paying their employees those couple extra dollars. Where things get tricky is the small businesses, the local mom and pop shops in downtown wherever. They probably aren't making as much money as McDonald's or, you know, Target or these stores. And they all of a sudden have to increase wages for their 20, 30 employees. And that money would add up. So say some random store pays their employees $8 an hour. And they raise the minimum wage to $15. That's another $7 that that little store has to come up with, not just once, but additionally every hour for every employee. And while that would be great for that employee, without a question, the employer is left either having to lay off some people or apply for loans or, in worst case scenario, like closing their store or having just to do like be their own employee and having to do everything themselves because they can't afford to pay someone those extra few dollars especially because of this pandemic those small businesses are already struggling and have been struggling and the fact that they made it through the pandemic and even though it's still ongoing whenever this ends hopefully at some point they'll say oh like we made it through that tough time and then we're going to turn around and hit them with a you got to pay your employees more money maybe isn't the best idea. I think we should be looking at things at a less radical way and really find a a good way to do this because it's important to make sure that it's actually helping the people who it needs to help. Like I said, some businesses might have to start laying off people. And if they're going to lay off people, they're going to lay off the lower skilled workers who, you know, statistically are those workers who need those jobs the most who might not have any other quote-unquote skills that they can use to get another job. Because if they did, they wouldn't have been working a minimum wage job to begin with.
a business would obviously want the higher skilled worker over a lower skilled worker and then that worker is just left with no job a lot of people think that you know increasing the minimum wage is to help lower the lower class and that happens and it can happen in the long run but in the short term at the very least it's not the case what people consider unskilled workers a majority of the time are in the lower class. They're the ones who need those minimum wage jobs to survive. And again, increasing that wage for them is extremely, extremely important, but they're also the ones who would end up the bad end of the stick because they're the ones who are more likely to be laid off if they offer less skills than a different employee. Also, a lot of millionaires and billionaires get mad when humans are allowed basic rights. So increasing wages to give people more money to, you know, just live in general might not go over well with big businesses. They might start saying, you know what, that's too much money for us to pay. We might have to increase how much our products cost and less people are going to buy them as a result. So they might do something called outsourcing where they take the jobs from Americans that are in the United States, ship their factories, whatnot, overseas to, you know, China or Indonesia, countries like that, where they have no labor laws, where they can pay someone 10 cents an hour and have all their products made there, taking away thousands of jobs from Americans. Why would they want to stay just purely from a business point of view, why would they want to stay in the United States when they have to pay every employee $15 and waste quote unquote all this money when they could just, you know, find a new factory in China where they have they can pay literally five cents per person for like ten hours and make children work for even less and make even more goods probably faster than they would have in the United States. Nine times out of ten, those big businesses are going to take those opportunities, again resulting in way less jobs for the people who really need them. We could also get into the economy and all that sort of thing, but that doesn't genuinely affect the everyday person as much as these other things do. People know that, you know, increasing wages is gonna affect the economy. Minimum wage should go up, But I really do think that it would be a lot helpful if it was done over a longer time frame than just a quick change from 0 to 100. That gives businesses time to slowly get used to that increase in wages and helps them figure out where they're going to get this money and figure out how many employees they can support having to pay that much money. It also allows consumers and everyday people to figure out what businesses they're going to support to help them pay these wages. I mentioned earlier about Wyoming having a much lower cost of living than Massachusetts, and I found it interesting to mention the minimum wage in Wyoming is actually $5.15. So there are some businesses and whatnot in Wyoming who are not subjected to follow the Fair Labor Standards Act, which says that you must have a minimum wage over $7.25. So they pay their employers even less money than the federal minimum wage. All right, that should wrap up this episode of my non-existent podcast. See you later.